Now, the opposition's Jenny Macklin, she's the uh, opposition's family's spokeswoman. She's been speaking to reporters in Tasmania. It's just started in the last few minutes. Let's take a listen. A terrific uh, group of pensioners, uh, very concerned about uh, the government's changes in last year's budget to the pension and, of course, very worried about what the government has in store for them this year. Before the last election, Tony Abbott said that there would be no changes to pensions, no changes at all. He broke that promise in last year's budget when he announced uh, very significant changes to the indexation of the pension. That would lead to an $80 a week cut over 10 years to the pension, $80 a week less in pensioners' pockets. So pensioners are understandably very angry with Tony Abbott about his broken promise about uh, this cut to pension indexation. So today we call on Mr Abbott and Mr Hockey to take those cuts to pension indexation out of the budget and out of the parliament. There's also speculation that the government may be seeking to change the pension again, this time by changing the assets test. Once again, I say to Mr Abbott, you promised before the last election there would be no changes to pensions. Keep your promise to pensioners. What are your fears if uh, there are changes made to the pension for those Australians who will be affected? My biggest fear is that pensioners will be worse off. How many part pensioners will lose their pension? How many pensioners will have their pension cut? Of course, uh, many pensioners are very worried about what this will mean for them. Will some, of those pensioners, sorry, some of those pensioners will be determined to have wealth enough to pay their own way. I mean, surely that money could be better spent to others who are more needy. Well, of course, at the moment, uh, none of us know what the government's proposing. Uh, the minister this morning uh, on the media refused to even say whether or not the indexation cuts would be removed from the budget and removed from the parliament. So we'll have to wait and see. Will Labor support tightening the assets test for the part pension? Well, as I've just said, uh, we haven't seen any of these proposals. Of course, I'm not going to comment on uh, anything that we haven't seen. The minister wasn't even prepared to confirm it. I just say to Tony Abbott, you promised there would be no cuts to pensions, no changes to pensions. He should keep his promise. Do you think it would be fairer to lower the assets test threshold than to change indexation? Well, as I've just said, uh, Tony Abbott made a very serious promise to pensioners before the last election. He said there would be no changes to pensions, none at all. So Mr Abbott broke his promise to pensioners in last year's budget and he seems set to break that promise again in this year's budget. What would Labor be doing instead? Labor's recently announced that uh, we do want to have a sustainable retirement income system and we want the whole system, superannuation and the pension, to be there for people in their retirement, to make sure that people can have a comfortable retirement as they age. We've uh, recently announced that we think that the concessions that go to very high income earners who have large superannuation accounts should be reduced. We think those superannuation tax concessions should be reduced for those very high income earners. Uh, but we certainly don't want to see the sort of cuts to pension indexation that Tony Abbott and Joe Hockey announced in last year's budget. Would Labor consider supporting any changes to the pension in this term, even if it didn't come in until the next term? Well, Labor is not going to respond to media speculation. What we know is that uh, Tony Abbott and Joe Hockey put in last year's budget a very significant change to pension indexation. That change would lead to a cut of $80 a week over the next decade to pensioners. We don't support it. We've fought very hard against it. We've opposed it in the parliament and we'll continue to oppose it. How 
How tough are some pensioners doing it you know, in, in today's situation? It's very hard for some pensioners, uh, particularly if you're on the full pension, uh, the maximum rate of the pension, you don't have any other income. It's especially hard if you're renting in the private rental market. So the last thing we want to do is anything that would hurt those pensioners who are doing it very, very hard. Wouldn't it be better then to cut, cut the pension for the rich people and give it to a little bit more to the ones that you're talking about now? Well, that's uh, what Labor did when we were in government was significantly increase the pension, uh, particularly for maximum rate pensioners, for those who are doing it the hardest. That's Labor's approach. And what we want to do to balance it out at the other end of the retirement income system is uh, to have less generous tax concessions for those people with very large superannuation accounts. So that's what we think is the fairest approach. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that was from Launceston. Just a few minutes delay on that. Labor's family spokeswoman Jenny Macklin commenting on this speculation this morning about government plans with the pension. And so the